Yeah, I'm out here again. Is that rain coming? I might need to hurry up. <laughs> I knew there was a, a batch headed this way. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm out here again. I, I really needed this place a lot lately, so I've spent a lot of time out here. I'm going to ask you a question, um, and then I want you to like chew on a little bit. So I might pause just for a moment or two to let you kind of spend some time reflecting on this question. The question is, what do you long for? Um, what is that ache, that thing inside of you that wants something different than you have now? I don't mean a car or a house. I mean, that'd be part of it. We all want bigger, better, nicer, newer. I'm talking like something deeper and more meaningful than that. Um, there's a German word for it. Of course, the Germans have a word for everything. Um, that word is Zinzo. And it's just this intense feeling of knowing and wanting something different. I think it's one thing to want something different, but to know that there's a different out there um, is really what drives a lot of us. <clears throat> and many of us, especially those in, in, in the religious world, Christianity, but even if you're not Christian, if there's some other faith that you follow, you recognize that the world isn't the way it's supposed to be. That there's something just not quite right. And you can't put your finger on it because you've never seen how it's supposed to be, but there's this longing, this, there's zines inside of you that, that knows that there's something better. Uh, Paul and Romans talked about this longing and aching for the, the world to be born into what it was supposed to be. Um, and, and the pain that it's going through, he described as childbirth. I've never been through childbirth with my, with my wife through childbirth, and it doesn't seem like it's really that great to go through it. Kids are great, but childbirth is hard. And Paul is saying, that what we're experiencing now is like the pain of childbirth, and this longing is, is knowing that there is a better outcome. The problem is we all react in a variety of ways, and there's no either or on the spectrum. At one end of the spectrum is this return to the way things were, um, this nostalgic desire to recreate our own past. The problem with nostalgia, it's different than reminiscing. Reminiscing is, remember when we were kids, and remember when our families would get together, remember we'd go to the beach or the lake or the swing in the front yard. Reminiscing is talking about what it was like when you were growing up. Nostalgia is, tr is going back there and trying to recreate it as if there's nothing that would ever be as good as it was when, when you were younger. The problem with that is when we were younger, we were five or six, and the world was still a really hard, rough place, we just didn't know it. And so in our own innocence and our own naivete, it seemed like it was better, but there were still wars and murders and crime and, and all sorts of things. So that's one end of, end of the spectrum, this longing to return to the days of old. And politicians love to, to play into this, is we know things are hard, we know you're not making the money that you thought you were, we know that crime is, is really up, we can recreate the way it used to be. And so it taps into this feeling of nostalgia, which isn't always a great thing because it was good for some people, but talk to people of color. It wasn't really that great back then for them. On the other end of the spectrum is equally um, dangerous. And that is this, this, if we just work hard enough and put enough rules and laws in place, we can create this, this utopia. Um, I'm a huge Star Trek Next Generation fan, not so much the first iteration of Star Trek. But there was this belief is once you create um, the ability to produce anything at whim, then you don't have to work for a living, which I think is a pretty great idea. If I could work with what I want to do rather than to earn a living to get by, I would still do this. But there would be this freedom that would come with, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it, not because I need the paycheck also. And so there's this longing for creating a world that um, 
isn't dependent on our ability to earn our level of comfort or, or, or living. So those are the two ends of the spectrum. To, to return to a past, this longing for the way things were, or this longing for this world that's in the future that hasn't yet come yet, that if we do enough work, um, we can make it happen. I have this longing for equity, not just equality, but that that everyone have the same opportunity and the same chance, and, and they just don't. We can pretend like they do, but there are systems and structures that keep people from excelling the way that we have. And so Janet and I have really been involved in, because of this longing inside of us, in opportunities to help produce equity. Uh, we sponsor kids in other countries. We've taken someone into our home and they've lived with us for a while. We've been involved in going to places in this country that are just racked with poverty and help trying to improve their living conditions to kind of lift their ability to achieve or to earn. Um, we do microfinance loans to women in other countries to help them have enough money to grow a business that they can support themselves. So that has been our longing to always try to do those kind of things to help other people. We've, we sponsor people, we've, we've been responsible for people. It, it's just a longing that we wanted to match with action. And so that's what we're going to do this Sunday in our last service, talking about terraform, about building a, a, a better world. Um, we've talked about making peace with our past, we're talking about considering everywhere we are as sacred. So when you consider the place sacred, then you will see the people as sacred. In the last week, we talked about institutional neighborliness, and that is just being active where you are and making connections with the people around you. And we use the neighborhood as a specific example. Uh, this Sunday, we will talk about fulfilling this longing for a better world. The, the future of possibilities, if we actually roll up our sleeves pick some things that we want to do specifically that we can actually be a part of the work of bringing about this world that we know is out there. This longing in deep within us that says someone ought to do something about that. We're going to talk specifically this Sunday about how to do that. I'm excited um, about this final Sunday in the series. We're going to have our buddy back on the platform, Nick, Nigel, Stephen, and Leah to talk about what it looks like for them where they are in helping people flourish and creating a better future. So I know this one was a little bit longer. Um, I hope you were able to, to stick with us. I still want you to answer that question for yourself. Um, what do you long for? What is that deep thing inside of you, that zinza, that is calling you to action, to actually do something about this world that we find ourselves living? So that's Sunday, just a little preview. Um, everything you need to know is on social media. Just to tap it, download our app. Um, it, that's a great way to get notifications about things that are coming up and really stay in touch with everything that's happening. So um, I've made it. The rain isn't quite here yet. Um, I hope you have a great rest of the week, a weekend, and we will see you Sunday either in person um, or virtually. You're important to us either way. So, have a great day and take care.